Hello everybody and welcome back to GMD Investments. So, I'm constantly hearing people talking about Bitcoin, trading Bitcoin, NFTs, I mean there is so much hype surrounding it. People love this stuff and today I'm here to tell you you're all completely wrong and most likely currently involved in a growing Ponzi scheme. A Ponzi scheme is when they pay existing investors with funds collected from new investors. It comes from a man named Charles Ponzi when he conducted his fraud in the early 20th century, convincing investors that they would get a 40 to 50% return on their investment and was so successful due to his charm and charisma that won people over. However, although this man may seem evil, he is a saint compared to the next man I'm going to introduce. His name, Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff ran a Ponzi scheme of up to $63 billion. That's right, $63 billion. It's the biggest scam in history by far. Everything was fake and a lie. The trading reports and profits all made up and the trading floor was just all a front to his game. He deceived many top people on Wall Street and was looked at as a god. He made the SEC all look stupid except from one man, Harry Markopoulos. He was heavily investigating Madoff and was the only one that knew Madoff for what he really was. However, of course no one listened to him. Bernie had no love for anyone, even his own family. He scammed his relatives and was responsible for many suicides during the aftermath of the scandal, including his own son. One time, his employees recall on 9-11, they were watching the tragic news all around the TV and Mr Madoff didn't look up once, just continued to work and the worst part, he knew people in that building. But what if this wasn't the biggest scam ever? Maybe it was just the biggest scam that is known to date. Maybe the next one to become known is Bitcoin itself. Bitcoin has some similar behaviours to a Ponzi scheme, such as investors buy in expectation of profits. That expectation is sustained by the profits of those that cash out, but there is no external source for those profits. They come entirely from new investments and the operators take away a large portion of the money. In its cash flow, Bitcoin resembles a penny stock pump and dump scheme. This is basically where traders acquire worthless stock, talk it up, and perhaps trade it among themselves at rising prices before unloading it onto those drawn in on the chatter and the price action, and then they dump it. This is what precisely happened in the film Wolf of Wall Street, where Jordan Belford is teaching his army how to be relentless on the phone and convince people to buy these crappy companies. Like a pump and dump scheme, Bitcoin taps into the pure desire for capital gains. Buyers cannot stand the sight of friends getting rich overnight. They suffer an acute fear of FOMO. However, having said all of this, my word probably doesn't mean much to you at all, so I've brought some backup with the biggest, most reputed figures in finance. Jamie Dimon, who is the CEO of the biggest bank in the world, being JP Morgan, states Bitcoin itself is a hyped up fraud, it's a pet rock. Warren Buffett, the founder of Berkshire Hathaway and one of the biggest investors of all time with a staggering 30.4% return from 1957 to 1969 and is most famous for his Coca-Cola investment. He states that Bitcoin is a gambling token and it doesn't have any intrinsic value, but that doesn't stop people from wanting to play the roulette wheel. Charlie Munger, which is the right-hand man to Warren Buffett and also got an incredible annual return of 24.3% across just over 10 years, states that I'm not proud of my country for allowing this crap. It's worthless, crazy and no good. It does nothing but harm and is antisocial. The most recent bubble to burst was the financial crisis in 2008. But the one that stands out to me the most was actually tulip mania. The tulip first came to Western Europe in the 16th century. With their beauty and rarity, the appreciation of their price just kept going up due to its demand. The rush to invest engulfed the whole of Holland. No person wants to be left behind from this opportunity. In the year 1636, the tulip's regular sales were listed on the stock exchange of Amsterdam. The tulip jobbers speculated in the rise and fall of the tulip stocks and made large profits by buying when prices fell and selling out when they rose. Many individuals grew suddenly rich. Everyone imagined that the passion for tulips would last forever. People of all grades converted their property into cash and invested it into flowers. Each upsurge in price persuaded more speculators to participate. In 1637 came the end. The wise and the nervous began to detach. No one knows for what reason. Others saw them go, the rush to sell become a panic. So, in conclusion to all of this that I've said today, I think you'd have to be absolutely crazy to put your money in Bitcoin. Um, like I said, it holds no value. You, when you buy Bitcoin, you're just hoping that someone pays a higher price. 
it's just gamble. It's a form of gambling. There's no. It's not producing any value. It's not like buying Apple and that's going to produce you a higher, you know, return on investment over time. Bitcoin is just a bubble that is forming. You know, and it's just people are going out there and they're saying, oh, it's the next big thing, it's the future, it's this, it's that. Just like a pump and dump scheme, just like when you watch Jordan Belford on that phone, it's the same thing. Um, and I urge everyone to stay away from Bitcoin um, and to really um, take this video in because it is logical, it is rational. Um, it's not just something I've plucked out of thin air. You know, it's got highly reputed figures in finance, like I said, backing my, um, my, my, my view on Bitcoin. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time.